Welcome back to another episode, guys. We are very bloody excited. We're about to head up towards Cape York. Um, we got the, the Patriot here with the tinny on top. The Land Cruiser is literally still at the mechanics. Uh, we get it back, hopefully, in the next couple of hours. We have got today to pack. So this is a packing video, guys. Um, if it's something that interests you, basically, we're just gonna run through everything we take on a big touring trip. We're basically heading away for about five weeks on this stint, uh, Cape York. Uh, down to the Fink Desert Race, up to Darwin. We'll leave the vehicle there for a month or so, come back, shoot a little bit of content, and fly back up, and myself and Nav are gonna run out to Arnhem Land. So, uh, the whole setup will be gone for a good couple of months. We need to make sure we got enough gear for the whole adventure and for all those different climates and bits and pieces as well. All right, so we're just working out the best um, way to strap the boat down. We've got a nice big ratchet here. Uh, definite overkill, but better to have overkill because the amount of corrugations, these things are gonna move a little bit. You want nice, strong straps. They always have a bit of a rubbing point, uh, especially on the top of the tinny. You got those sharp little uh, edges. Uh, so just always go your bigger straps. Keep an eye on them when you're on the road. Now, I'm just gonna chuck a lock on this Merc because it's a little bit of cash and carry. I'll tell you what, if you're looking for a good lock, we might actually start stocking these on our website. They're that good old. I'll have to chat to the boys. One key, pick a key, any key will do. Uh, they're called uh, Kovix. They're actually epic locks. We got one for the for the tow ball as well. So just gonna put one on the Merc so that it's not as easy to, to pinch. All right, now let's head to the shed. I'll show you how I start uh, bulking all my gear together. All right, so what I tend to do is I just pull everything off the shelves uh, and I just chuck it in one big pile. So we got Nav Swag here. Uh, this is a little bit of behind the scenes, just quietly. Explore Life swag bag, guys. Um, we've been testing this one for about a month now. We'll probably do uh, another six months of testing. So this will be about six months away before we can, can look at releasing one to the public. Let us know in the comments what you think. It's a fully waterproof um, swag bag. You can literally throw this straight out of the uh, boat, fully PVC lined. But uh, yeah, let us know in the comments. What do you think about them? Would you want one for your swag? We've got all of the um, safety gear for in the tinny. I was gonna put this under the um, tinny on that rack, but I forgot. So we'll chuck it in the trailer and we'll chuck that up later. Fishing gear, tackle, that bag's literally just full of Halco lures. I'm taking my spear gear. You're probably thinking I'm a little bit nuts, which I just might be, but um, I've heard there is some spots up in uh, Arnhem Land you can go for a spear. Yes, it's very crocky, but you got the right spots up there with a bit of local knowledge um might be all right i'd hate to go and uh not have a gun so i'm just taking one gun some short fins and a mask real simple setup there i don't want to carry too much weight because chances are i'm not, I'm not even going to use it you, but you never know if you don't take it you, you, you won't get to use one all right guys as part of the packing we had to come pick up the 79 from the mechanics have a look at this front end just quietly. This is the first time anyone will have seen these. Uh, so when we were building the front end, we, we ended up throwing a set of second hand spotties on from Dean. But uh, have a look at these. Woo -hoo -hoo. Look at that front end now. So we got onto the team at Light Force guys and uh, they were look, look, what are you doing putting those old spotties on? And uh, we're like, well, mate, we ran out of time. The boys hooked us up with a set of spotties, quick smart. These things are absolutely insane. Wait till you see some night driving because we'll be doing plenty of it up at Cape York and trying to punch down uh, out to the desert there. These things are animals. I'll film a video on these specifically. Uh, love the hybrid as well, not just the LED. So wait till you see the distance you get out of these things. It's absolutely nuts. But let's go in and chat to the boys. Uh, Nathan Sebring here, run us through. Obviously we're doing a bit of a packing video. It's nothing to do with packing, but I always say before a big trip, uh, get down to your local mechanic, get stuff sorted. So what did we do on the, the big girl? We did all the oils, uh, checked everything over, repacked the rear wheel bearings, new yep. rear brakes, adjusted up the handbrake, the handbrake working, checked the front wheel bearings, checked the front <laughs> end. Pretty much just a full check over and get it all up to top shape. Yeah. Now look, before any big trip guys, that's an absolute must. Every time we go away for a trip, the car comes here. Sebring have got three of my cars here at the moment. They run on rotation, pick one up, drop another one off. Um, and then after a trip, I normally come in and get a checkup as well. So then uh, you just know whether your sweet saves you spending thousands of dollars getting towed out on a truck. Anyway, we have literally got, to give you an idea, it's quarter to two. Well, I don't know what took so long. <laughs> Big job. <laughs> quarter to two. We've got till six o'clock today to pack the truck. So we're out of here. Let's go. All right, guys. So we just 
Got back to HQ. We're going to start ripping everything out of the 79. I haven't even given this thing a good clean out since I got back from a trip around Australia. I've just found skateboards. I'm literally carrying weight around, which is the dumbest thing. I've got about five uh, dive weights in here, which is absolutely ridiculous. So I'm going to clean out this drawer. I'm also running. <laughs> I've also carried this around for uh, 12 months. It's a uh, hot water exchange unit for the 79, the Glynn hot water unit. This will go in one day. <laughs> Today is not that day. So let's get everything out and then we're gonna repack it. So step one when packing, unpack all the shit that you've accumulated over the last couple of trips. Throw out absolutely everything that you haven't used in a while. Make everything neat and tidy uh, so you know where everything is because you just accumulate stuff. Step number two, have a good team to unpack and clean everything for you. Yeah, the boys. So the boys are going out at the moment, cleaning everything out. We've literally only got a couple of hours. Good news is, me trusty Navi, my trusty offsider Nav, he's down, no, he's, no, no, he's not, he's actually not. not here. He's actually not here. No. no, so cancel that. So Nav's not here helping. Thanks Nav, uh, appreciate the help. I'm glad you're gallivanting around the country, catching up with uh, mates, having beers. It's not like we got a five week trip or anything to do, but uh, you know, that's all right. I'll, I'll pack for you, Nav. Maybe I'll accidentally uh, forget his swag. Who knows? What do, you, what do you reckon? Let me know in the comments. Should I forget his swag? The random stuff you find in your car. This is some sort of barb, dingray barb. I don't know what that's off. Anyway, throw that in the bin. So much stuff in here that we honestly haven't used. That's probably just honestly one of the biggest tips, guys. If you haven't used it, in the last 12 months in your 4B, you just don't need it. So get rid of it, save yourself a lot of weight. Righto, clothes bag, throw in as many pairs of undies that you've got, shorts, at least a couple, t-shirts, a couple, couple of long sleeves, one rain jacket and a, and a towel. You're only gonna wear one pair of shorts and one t-shirt basically for the whole trip anyway. Undies, well, you can never have enough. Worst case, you turn them inside out. In the dirty zone, uh, Explore Life gear bag, RM Williams boots in the bottom there, pair of jeans, that's packing, job done. A couple of other things, so we're just getting all the chairs together. I'm actually going to have a camera guy in the back of the car for part of this trip, and then he'll be getting in another car. So we've got three Explore Life touring chairs, a little table, uh, always take a separate table, just always comes in handy. This one folds in half, uh, which is good. Now, Sammy's over here, we're just sorting out some recovery gear. All right, so one thing that is probably definitely going to get used a lot, probably definitely, that's a thing, is uh, recovery gear. So we've got the Max, the Max Trax uh, new recovery bag here. I'll show you what we're going to take. We've got a winch ring, which is a must. A couple of fuse shackles, a couple of core shackles, playing ball with the dog. Uh, then we've got one of their, this is a three meter static rope. Then you've got your kinetic ropes, which are your, uh, your snatch wraps, basically, guys. Two meter, three meter, and five meter. Uh, we also have a absolutely monster 10 meter kinetic rope. So that one's gonna get stored somewhere, probably out of the way, not in this main um, bag, because we're gonna need it all the time. And then now we got this. This is actually really cool. This is a static rope, 10 meters. So this is your winch extension, uh, bridle, tow rope, whatever it is. This has got no stretch, guys. So static rope, 10 meters. It's so light. Uh, and it's good for uh, 11 ton, so absolutely monstrous. So we're gonna get all this in the recovery bag. It's gonna be put somewhere easily accessible. Um, and now we're gonna start actually getting some stuff back in the car. All right, so um, all I've done is I've got a little hammock that I've tucked up in the back there. Never know when you might need a hammock on an explore trip. Probably not, but it's in there just in case we get a lazy afternoon. I've got the ladder for the uh, rooftop tent up at the top here. Toolkit, guys. I've got the Hillbilly uh, camp oven kit back there, which is a really nice, lightweight, compact kit. So then the recovery kit, it's going to sneak up in this little spot here. Oh, absolutely like a glove. That's what we like to see. I don't know. What else we got? I've got a new Sirocco fan for the rooftop tent. Now it's going to be absolutely frothing. I might wait. Till we're about halfway into the trip when it's really hot and then go oh by the way got a fan for you mate you would have known but you weren't here to pack the truck so so we'll uh, get that one in i don't put too much in that rear trundle drawer mainly because i don't need it we've got plenty of space this drawer here basically this is sort of my tools drawer um i got a little makita blower vacuum thing um which 
who knows, probably don't need this, don't have a caravan anymore. But I'll take along a Makita drill with me, a couple of Makita batteries. I've got a bag here full of fluids, just your basics, your uh, a liter of oil, um, my brake fluid, a um, couple of other little bits and pieces, a little bit of bearing grease. Uh, i got my uh, multimeter, then we've just got a jump pack here, that always comes in handy. My solar blanket, Red Arc um, solar blanket, that thing is an absolute beast. If we're parked up for a couple of days, I can either clip that onto the front battery, which charges my secondary under the bonnet, or I can plug it into this back section, but I've got 300 watts of solar, so I've never had to use it. We may use it if we decide to leave the Patriot um, and disappear in the car for a couple of days. Bog roll, that's important. Underneath that is some uh, a tool kit. It's a basic SP tool kit, guys. It's got all your sockets, pliers, spanners, um, bits and pieces. Fire extinguisher, the strike, that comes in handy. A couple of cords and bits and pieces. Uh, then, spare mask. You never know when you might need a spare mask. We'll chuck that in there as well. Uh, hand spear, guys. This one's been in here. Yeah, it's been in here for 12 months. But we did use it. We've used it once. I always just leave that tucked in underneath there. Now, this drawer here, guys. This one I'm going to try and leave empty. I'm going to fill this one with dry foods. Um, the other side does tend to fill up pretty quick. So dry foods. And then we'll probably have a little bit of camera gear as well. So I've got all my Red Arc, my Red Vision systems over this side here, guys, with all my power outlets. So this is a great little spot. Plus I've got the bench to just be able to put all my camera gear, charge bits and pieces. I can rest my camera and drone and everything up here. So that's where I run all my camera gear. Um, oh, at the back here, sneaky JBL. That's going in the drawer. You always need a boom box. This section here, I put all my tall stuff. So that's my table. Uh, we specifically left this area nice and tall so that you can put those taller items. Explore Life Touring Chair, only the greatest chair on the market. It does fit, trust me, there we go. You can fit two of them in there nicely. Still got room to chuck. A little, uh, little stool might fit in there, like a glove. Um, then third one. This one will probably end up in the Patriot, but it's perfectly up top there. All right, guys, we're gonna start loading the uh, the Patriot. The car's actually going really well. We seem to be quite light. We still have to do a food shop, obviously. That's gonna happen on the way. Uh, so this is actually a new product for the Bush Company. This is a um, shade cloth wall for the awning. It's absolutely massive. It'll stop most of the rain if it's nice and light, to be honest, and then it just gives you a bulk amount of shade. So we're gonna take that one. Uh, that's a new addition. I've got this old school stool here, guys. I'm just gonna chuck that in. It's always handy if you wanna have a couple of extra people around the campfire, and it fits in like a glove. These are the walls for the P-Core. If, if we ever know we're sat somewhere for a couple of days and we know there's any rain coming, um, I'll be able to put the awning out, put all the walls on, so I'm gonna chuck. Chuck them in as well. Tuck that right up in that corner. Little tip. You can actually sneak your spear gun in the rooftop tent. Just tuck it down. Um, down beside your, your bed there. Out of the way. Safe. They're pretty long, so it's hard to find the right spot for them. So it's not a bad little option. Spear gun stuff. Sneak that in right down the back. We still have this whole drawer. This is gonna be really good for um, dry food and probably big pots and pans as well. Sessie tackle. Tackle box. She's coming together. We've got the Max Tracks rear hitch receiver. Now the cool thing about the Patriot is you can actually put it in the back. Oh, just like that. Hitch receiver on the back of the Patriot. Super cool. If anyone's bogged behind you, you can still drag them out without having to unhitch your camper. That is a extremely, extremely smart little setup. You also got a couple of recovery points here. Um, if you weren't using that, happy days. Are you ready? I'm ready to go, let's go, ready? <laughs>
Look what the cat dragged in. That's how we start every show. <laughs> All right, guys, so the big man decided to show up. We were debating yesterday whether I should put your swag on the roof or not. We thought, oh, like, you... thought it might I, be funny. I just, he had a birthday party yesterday, and I didn't show up to his birthday party, so he's taking it a little bit personal. Um, I did actually completely forget about it, in all honesty. <laughs> well, the good news is we got most things packed because uh, I'm a little bit dusty this morning. Yes. So now I've guessed to do everything today, which is great news. But uh, <laughs> so what you don't know is we're filming a packing video. I already started. We already started. Oh. We already did all the packing. That's why you yeah, yeah, right. We've got been it. picking on you all day yesterday <laughs> while we were packing. Oh, don't worry, it's great. So um, we're going to do the rest of the packing this morning. Nav's just been shaking his swag out. Shout out to A-Dog. Yeah, After thanks, filling mate. it full of sand. There was what? How many sand castles are you trying to make? <laughs> so now it's just uh, cleaning his swag out, getting that ready. Uh, we're just making sure everything's tidy. But uh, today we pretty much got to run a couple of errands. We need. Uh, we only need to put a couple of things in. We need to get some yep. gas bottles. Uh, we're going to get a couple of bed sheets because there's no bedding in uh, your swag or my rooftop tent. Pack the beer. Uh, pack the beer. We just had 20 cartons of your mates. <laughs> brewing turn up so i don't know how many the, cartons we're going to fit week. in but the plan is to pack everything and yeah, then whatever um, space is left we'll put just in the rooftop tent you know just yeah, fill it, it up yeah, yeah we'll fill it with beers all right let's get into it oh a little note from the dog and gun crew legends coffee. i'm definitely where's the hot chocolate Oh, I gave the hot chocolate to my sister. Oh, did you? Yeah. Why would you do that? Sorry, I didn't even think about it. <laughs> also, I'm not going to have hot chocolate. <laughs> I forgot Nav will. So the team at <clears throat> Dog and Garn have hooked us up with some pre-ground beans. Perfect for our coffee machine. Uh, and it looks like we've got a mug too now. So we'll oh. load the coffee in. Done. Full send coffee. We're going to need that. That's my Here mug. Go. That's mine. Your special little mug? My mug. Yeah, it's small, it's not you, that'd be perfect. <laughs> Fit your small hands. <laughs> Alright, now I have time to pack all your things. That One, and this. two. <laughs> I love this bag. I love that it's raining today, that's great. Which? Oh, speaking of cats dragging things in. Just admiring my, my hand me down. Bobo's car. back. Hey, buddy, I'm not leaving. <laughs> I'm, I'm coming on the trip. I haven't, seen him in, I haven't seen him in six months. <laughs> Since he uh, got a missus and ran away, <laughs> but uh, he heard had, he heard we had a trip, a trip, trip so and he's I'm like, here. Um, "Is the back seat empty? <laughs> back seat. <laughs> <laughs> front seat. <laughs> <laughs> front seat. <laughs> Who gets the front seat now? Shotties. Yeah. Oh no! Good news, everyone. Bo's not coming. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> get a house, Bo. <laughs> 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 All right. What do you reckon? Is this gonna fit? Yeah, perfect. Make it fit. Is, it's got the beef jerky in it. It has to fit. Look at the size of your bag. How long are you packing for, mate? Three weeks. Six months. Six months. <laughs> I don't want to get stuck in the bush. It smells like mice again. Do you ever get mice No. Again? There's <laughs> no mice in this one. I nearly forgot my Crocs. <laughs> don't, but I didn't. Don't worry. We're good. <laughs> I got my Crocs too. Have you? Yeah, Did you good. park them? Yeah, definitely. I don't go anywhere without Crocs. Let us know in the comments, Crocs, yay or nay. Just comment yay or nay. Just nay. So you just yay, basically. So pretty much, yay. it's just full of nays. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> what are we doing? We're getting we're getting out the most precious cargo we have. <laughs> this, is, this is how the trip keeps going. Otherwise, it stops. It's Larry time. <laughs> Please fit. Oh like a glove like Beautiful. a glove a couple of maccas couple of maccas yeah macca really aren't that strong matty <laughs> this is this is going to be disastrous <laughs> i'm just going to film it because i know you're going to break something i'm definitely going to drop it oh ah, that was not exciting at all i made it <laughs> well this side of the trailer is heavy <laughs> all right well We've actually Dang. been up since five o'clock this morning, guys. We got up and it was absolutely pouring rain. Oh, flat out. It's supposed to be the sunshine state down here. It's going on. <laughs> it's been shocking. We've been driving for the last five hours. We've just pulled up at a nice uh, little spot here. We're just going to make a coffee and get back on the road. But we didn't film any more of that packing video because it was just yeah. raincoats run, run on, in, run out. <laughs> running around. We just threw the rest of the gear in. Uh, but look, guys, I hope you did enjoy this little video on, uh, on sort of packing. 
before we head for a big trip away. Normally people spend about a month (laughs) packing for their Cape York trip, but we do do this morning. (laughs) Yeah, I know. We got in, we got it done. Anyway, guys, we are on our way to Cape York. We got a couple of epic weeks up there, mate. Um, Yes, as far as we can get. I don't know how this rain's going to stop us, but hopefully uh, it's it's a good show anyway. It'll just be. Fingers crossed we can actually get up the old Telegraph track. Shout out to all our subscribers, you absolute legends. Smash that like button. If you've got any questions about any of the packing, uh, put them in the comments below. I'll answer them because he doesn't have a clue. He just brought a backpack. (laughs) And uh, we'll see you next time, guys. Till then, get out and enjoy the Explore Life. All right.